One of the hardest jobs in the world is a major league umpire. We have eight reviewed calls worth a point each. Let's review them and see how high you can score. Baseball News Club presents You Make the Call. I'm going to need you to subscribe, follow, like, and comment right now. Review call number one will be a tag play at home plate, and Eric Hosmer makes an absolutely brilliant play. So let's check it out. Stammon, quick bunt to Eric, to home, boom. Was he safe or out? Original call was safe, but let's take a look at it. This isn't the best angle, so let's try a different angle. That was a great freaking play. Look at that. Here we go. He's at home. Is his foot in there? It looks like the catcher's foot was blocking it. Let's look from this angle. Did he get in there? Right there. It looks like he skips over. It looks like he tags him. Kind of looks like an out. Original call was safe, but is there enough to overturn it? Goes up. Over. Right there. It looks like he tags his cheek. Professor's waiting. Blue. He's safe. Number two is a tag play. Jorge Alfaro to shortstop Miguel Rojas. And the original call, Juan Soto's gone. But did he get his hand in there? He's taking it a look. Let's check out this angle. His hand's in right there, but did the glove get to him quick enough? It's kind of hard to tell. Let's look at one other angle. His hand's in, but did the glove hit the inside of his elbow? Not sure. That's close. Ah, oh, crap. Joe West is involved. So let's look at it again. Looks like hand's there, but again, is there enough evidence showing that the glove touched or Juan Soto got his hand in there? So that's a tough call. It looks like Juan might have got in there, but let's see what Joe West says. He gone. View number three, J.D. Martinez is going to absolutely take Tom Eshelman, crushes it. D.J. Stewart fields it off the green monster, throws it in the second. Boom. Did he get in? He got in. But did he get in? Let's look again. Ah, that angle is kind of tough. Let's try again here. Glove in, moves. Ah, it looks like he might have got in there, but did the glove hit his thigh? Ah, it looks safe to me. I don't know. What do you think? Let's get all up in there. Let's see. Tie base? Well, it's got to be enough to overturn it, so original call stays. He's safe. Call review number four. This will be Chase Anderson pitching to Kyle Higashioka, and he absolutely crushes it. It's gone. It looked like it went over the wall. Ah, that angle is a little far out. Let's go a little closer. It hit the top and bounced right back, or did it ricochet off the wall? What's the ruling? It's overturned. It's a double. Review number five is a close play at first base. What a great view. So this will be a 6-4-3. This will be Story to Hampson to Fuentes. Wim Flores originally called out at first, but was he safe? Was it a tie base? Ooh, that's a tough call. That's a tough call. Let's get closer. Ball and glove. About a quarter inch space. So, original call. Do they overturn it? It stands. He gone. Call number six, another double play, another close play at first. Let's check it out. Did Miguel Rojas beat it out? He gone. Original call out. From this angle, you can't tell really, but let's look at this angle. Oh snap, his foot got in there. Blue says, you at second, you gone. You at first, overturn, you're safe. Review number seven is a tag play at second. Leotos Tavares, did he get in there? Original call safe? Dude, look at this jump. The ball's not even released yet. He's just gone. But it was a great throw. This angle, nah, this doesn't work. We gotta look at a different angle. Okay, his hand does it get in there, but then again, he can't see the other side. So let's get all up in there. Uh, did he tag him? Was it a tight base? Is it enough to overturn? God, it's just a cruddy angle, man. Can't really tell, but he just keeps going. His hand comes off right about there, but his foot's still on there. Enough to overturn? Nope, he stays. You number eight, Colorado called slide interference on Jake Cronenworth breaking up the double play. Because if he did interfere, then it'd be an automatic double play. The runner at first was safe. But let's look from this angle. Kind of hard to tell. Looks like his momentum sort of took him into the fielder. Let's try this angle. He went right over the base and the fielder was to the right. Is it enough to prove sliding interference? Blue says, nope. Safe at first, no slide interference. Thank you for watching Baseball News Club.